Alright, let's complain today about getting caught cheating then taking a weapon out. For some reason, people love high risk, high reward situations but can't accept the bad outcomes when it all comes crashing down. Have you ever seen a woman pull out a weapon after she cheated? Probably. If not, here you go. I'm calling the police. Don't fucking touch me. Put the gun down. I'm, you can get all your stuff, but put, put my firearm down. Put it down. No, because I swear to God, if you touch me. I'm not going to touch you. Don't touch me. I haven't been touching you. Whatever. Because you got caught cheating with Piff. I now you want to do this. And then down, and I can have him repost this. Because you got caught cheating with P. Piff. At P. Piff. Get away uh, from me. And texting your grandmother about it. Saying he's the guy that helped you, that stopped and helped you that night when you were fighting. Now you want to go and, kill, and threaten to kill yourself. And do all this extra stuff when you can just get tell away the truth. From me. When you, when, you, when, you, when you can go to Get Piff's house, me. we can take you to Piff's house. Get away from me. We can take you to Piff's house. So this is this Get is what happened me. when cheating bitches get caught. Get away from me. This is what happened. Can you call the police, please? Yo, I get the guy needs to record her so no lies can be told and to show her going through his car, but bro, she has a gun, your gun, and if you look at her hands, her fingers on the trigger the whole time. Dude, if you don't get out of there, he had to know it wasn't loaded or she wouldn't shoot, right? At least I hope so. I hate when cheaters act like this. There's plenty of stories of cheaters getting caught then pulling out a weapon to hurt themselves or their partner on some I can't live without you type stuff. Bro, you shouldn't have cheated then. I gotta say this again. Following that girl with the camera was pretty daring. How did she even get your gun anyway? That's the real question. There's one thing I want to ask her. Why are you telling your grandma you cheated with P-Pev <laughs> or p -Piv? That's gotta be there. <laughs> That's gotta be the first time I heard someone getting caught up through their grandma. Who tells their grandma? <laughs> you gotta, that, that's crazy. And you gotta be hurt to hear your lady got bent over by some guy named P. Piv. I might crash out low key. Cheaters can't stay out their own way. They always leave a trail for you to find out. Like why would you tell a respectable woman like her grandma this? and expect it not to be told to the partner you're cheating on. Doesn't make any sense. So the story from what I got from the video is P. Piv stopped and helped her when she was fighting. Maybe she was fighting multiple girls. Now I'm kind of judging this guy's choices in woman Loki. Anyway, he helped her and she wanted to show her she was thankful in the best way possible. <laughs> you can't be mad at this guy if you didn't know. If he did, then handle that how you want to. Just don't do anything to go to jail. Actually, it's just it's just best to move on honestly if you heard the boyfriend's offer it was pretty good instead of doing all this stuff she should have just took the ride to Piv's house but does he really want someone who cheated on their partner with them no because in the back of Piv's mind she would do it again overall be careful who you choose as a partner and try not to agitate them when they have a weapon in their hand. It might not always end well for you. And that's just a terrible way to go out. And to be remembered going out like that. Crazy. Just move on and record from a distance if you need to. Anyway, thanks for watching. And thank you, broken up couple, for the content.